6 a.m. <laughs> Say goodbye to our tent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see some orcas. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 240 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're just leaving our camp at Puerto Piramides on the Valdez Peninsula. The sun is just, just rising up there over the hill. Oh, and there's a dog. <laughs> oh, maybe he just wanted to say hello. <laughs> Had to leave early this morning to see something very, very special, or we're hoping to see something really, really special. So let me show you guys where we're gonna be heading today. So we are here in Puerto Piramides at the beginning of the Peninsula Valdez. And today we are gonna be heading onto the dirt roads, onto the peninsula and across to a point here which is where we're gonna be looking for penguins, elephant seals, orcas, gonna be crazy. And then we are gonna be making our way back across here because this road is apparently closed and up to Punta Norte where we can also see plenty of beautiful marine wildlife before making our way back down to camp again in Puerto Piramides. Oh, we're getting into the sunshine, look at this. Cool. It's a chilly morning this morning, 17 degrees, one of our coldest days on the bike for a long time actually. We've got our fleeces on underneath, but I think once the sun comes up... It's time I to take them off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Today we're heading to a couple of different places on the Valdez Peninsula. And the first stop it's a really special one. There may be a chance to see orcas, killer whales, but not only killer whales, but killer whales beaching themselves to try to hunt seals. Yeah, and also try to teach their kids how to hunt and how to find food. This famous technique actually only happens here on the Valdez Peninsula in the spot that we're heading to this morning but you can only witness this at high tide high tide happens to be in an hour and a half and we've got about 80 kilometers of dirt roads in order to reach this area of the peninsula so hence why we had to get up very early in order to get ready and get over there because we really don't want to miss this. Here we go, this is our last time on tarmac for the rest of the day. Some beautiful guanacos in the morning. They are huge! Look at them! Wow! Oh, amazing! Amazing! Wow! There's a whole bunch of them and little babies too! Oh. oh, beautiful animals. Brilliant. But this entire peninsula is actually a reserve, but I think that's uh, more centered around the marine wildlife than it is the land. What is there? Little rabbits? Or muntjacs or something? Oh, yeah, look at that. Hopping these along guys. there. Oh, yes, look. <laughs> cool. I think those were those little creatures that we saw in the visitor center last night. Yes. Here's all the animals that we can maybe see. I can't remember the name, it started with M. Ma Mara? Mappa? <laughs> oh my god, there's <laughs> loads of guanacos here. Wow, I wonder how the population is here. I mean, it must be huge. It must be. I mean, look, they're loving it here. Yes, they're loving it, eh? <laughs> Oh, nice! What a special animal! Thank you. 
So we're just over halfway and we're actually about halfway through the time as well. It's seven o'clock and high tide is in an hour. So we're making okay progress, but um, yeah, this road does have a little bit of its challenges. It's got some areas of really, really, really crazy corrugation. It's got some areas of gravel. You've got some Guanaco traffic. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's a... Uh, it's more challenging than expected. And you have the sun from the front as well. So it's like, it's really hard to see actually. Yeah, and this bit, for example, it's not too great. You can feel like sometimes some real softness on the front steering. Maybe if you pick this line here. Over here. Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh. Some traffic. Yeah. Really got to be careful. We have about 35 more kilometers to go. And uh, 58 minutes until high tide. You can just about see the end of the peninsula over there. Ooh, looks quite deep here. Yeah, there's some deep parts. You can see it's like got grooves where the tires have been and then piles of gravel on the sides. But here we go. It's 7.45, so we are on time. For the high tide there's a point called Punta Cantor and that's where we're going to be hopefully seeing some wildlife yes goodbye bumblebee let's check it out and see what we can see we don't we don't know where to look what to do but what I do know is that there's a sign here that says Orca. did you hear the elephant seal no, I didn't. Did you hear him? No. no? Oh, there's some elephant seals on the beach. <laughs> Loads. Whoa. Loads. No. guys they're so cute at the moment they're just chilling but you can see in between that some doing some stretching you know they're playing with each other <laughs> so it's so cool they're just having a really nice morning <laughs> And it doesn't look like there's any orcas. We haven't seen any any killer whales so far this morning, which I think the elephant seals are very happy about because this is their prey right here on the beach. Yeah, it looks like that the killer whales are not hungry at the moment. No, the atmosphere is chilled. It doesn't feel tense. <laughs> so I don't think they're around. <laughs> According to the sign here, it says that the pups, when they're born, already weigh 30 to 40 kilo. And uh, in just 25 days, they gain 300% of their body weight. And that's it. And then they're alone, out into the colony. <laughs> and it says that the males are at 400 kilograms. Wow. There's more than bumblebee. <laughs> you can hear them all going, what a morning, hey? <laughs> I can't really do it. <laughs> no ochres for today. It doesn't look like those guys are going to say hello, so... We haven't eaten breakfast yet, so we've got some crackers and cheese <laughs> over by Bumblebee. Whee! And uh, then head over to another lookout point. To see some penguins! The wildlife adventure's not over yet. There's an armadillo on the walkway. Hello. Hello, little guy. How cute is that? He's just wandering around. He doesn't care. 
we don't have any sunscreen left but we have like a sink cream so now we just put on some sink cream we look quite funny but <laughs> <laughs> i think that will do <laughs> back on the gravel roads i want to work here now and the restaurant or somewhere where i can just observe the elephant seals and the orcas every day we've decided that we're going to come back tomorrow morning before we leave the peninsula for one last shot at seeing them it's absolutely spectacular coast spectacular Okay, I think this is the penguin point. Let's have a look. Oh yes, look, it says Pinguina, 50 meters. Awesome, let's <laughs> see if they're at home. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Penguins. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes, there's one right there in front of us. <laughs> wow. So one penguin invited us already to his home and he said there's a big party going on so let's check it out. <gasps> Interesting. Uh -huh. There's penguins literally all over these cliffs just here <gasps> and all over the yes, beach yes, and all over there as well. going on. Oh my god, how amazing. I think he's waiting for his partner. That's the reason that he's, he's calling him. Where are you? Where's my coffee? <laughs> there must be hundreds along this beach here. Really, I never saw anything like it in my life. Seriously, this is a penguin paradise here. Wow! So at the moment, these guys actually have chicks in their nest. And actually the chicks won't uh, fledge and leave the nest until January, February time. Food here is anchovy, hake, silver side, squid. And uh, they can swim up to 600 kilometers to find food and bring it back. Oh. sure what that was but it looked cute i feel like in a documentary movie at the moment i don't know if this is reality or if it's a movie it's it's magical What a place! What a place! 
<laughs> yeah, magical. <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun to observe them. There's a, there's just so much going on. It's completely different to the elephant seals because they are just lazing around. Yeah, they're not really doing anything, are they? But the oh. penguins are like, they go and frolic in the water a little bit, and then they come and hold hands with their friends. They all have a little meeting, and then they wander around. Then they go for a swim. Then they check out their nest. Then they're screaming for their partners. Like so much stuff going on. It's, it's a busy life as a Magellanic <laughs> penguin. <laughs> yes. This species, the Magellanic penguin, is actually uh, just here in South America. They just said on the sign as well that the first pair arrived here in the 1950s. Uh, yeah, 50s, 60s. 50s, 60s, and it was just uh, like a pair, and now it's about 25,000 um, penguins here. So we have one more spot on this beautiful peninsula to ride to now but it is a bit of a ride now we've got 70 kilometers there we have another chance to spot orcas yeah yeah and some more marine beautiful marine wildlife yeah amazing hello guanacos nice nice so we're nearly an hour into our journey now and it's a bit tough going to be honest yeah, we were sliding around a few times. <laughs> yeah, in those deep gravel patches. Oof. It's not easy. No, it's very straight. You know, you just have to be always, always aware of these deep gravel lines, less deep gravel lines, you know. And keep looking, keep picking. And so far we haven't fallen over. But otherwise it's quite pleasant. We have big open views. Guanacos on the left, guanacos on the right. <laughs> guanacos crossing the road. And at the moment it's 30 degrees. So it's on the border of being too hot, but it's just about all right, eh? Yeah, about we can just right. about tolerate it. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> got a little bit rougher there. Ooh. Hey, hey. Looks like we're coming up near to Punta Norte and we just hit a huge patch of sand back there and we were still going quite fast and it was like, whoa! <laughs> it was okay, I pulled in the clutch, just let it roll through. Oh my goodness. We just made it. Yeah, we made it through. We had a few close calls already, <laughs> yeah. but it's been okay. Here we go, Punta Norte. Awesome. Woo! find out if they've seen any orcas yes. recently yeah look at that sign don't touch the armadillos oh. oh no don't feed the armadillos more like no alimentar a los animales what are we having mashed potatoes <laughs> <laughs> and a can of peas <laughs> which is really hard to open when you've only got this thing mmm yummy it's not too bad it's not too good we will survive, hey? Hello. Nice. How great is that? The armadillo just ran past us. Like, oh, hey guys, you got some food? Look, he's behind the bike. Hello. 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 Wow. How cool. All right, lunch is over. Now it's time to see some more wildlife. Yes, let's spot some orcas. <laughs> no, we actually asked the person here at the visitor center and uh, they told us that unfortunately, the place that we were at this morning, that was probably the best chance that we would get to see some orcas. But there is a colony of elephant seals here and we love elephant seals. So let's check that out. Awesome, the tide is much lower now, but they're all still just chilling on the beach. Yeah, it looks like they're all having a nap. No, but that's what it looked like this morning. <laughs> Basically, it looks like elephant seals spend their entire day just napping. Honestly, it feels like they've like all been on a night out last night and now they're all just like, Oh, don't even talk to me. 
I can't deal with today. Oh. Oh my god, we were about to leave, but we finally saw one! Yes! An orca! Woo! Oh, hold on a minute. Okay. Through the sand. Oh yeah. Goodbye, elephant seals. Bye bye! We wish you a very good life. <laughs> a very relaxed life. <laughs> Apparently this is, on the Valdez Peninsula, is the only place on the mainland of South America that you can actually see the elephant seals. How incredible is that? Wow, we were like 20 meters away from them. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, whoop. Oh, that's a bit slidey. Oh, oh. Uh, I think there's a little bit more coming up. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I think there might be one more bit as well. Oh yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, oh, We're in oh, it. We're in it. Oh, 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 clutch, clutch, clutch. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I was like, oh, there might be one more bit. Yep. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Whoa, that's soft. Oh, 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 clutch, clutch, clutch. Oh my god. There you go. I think that was the last bit. Tarmac is coming. Ah, oh, <sighs> yes. <laughs> 145 miles of dirt roads is over for today. Oh, yes, we didn't fall off. Woo! Look how smooth that is, eh? So smooth. Good evening, guys. We made it. Very exhausting, but happy to our camp. Yeah, we're just hiding under this bush from the sun. Bumblebee in the tent are over there. But man, it got really hot by, by this early afternoon, I tell you, it's hot it, now. Yeah, it's easily 33 degrees. And after so many dirt roads, I am absolutely shattered. I mean, it was an amazing day of seeing some amazing wildlife. Yeah, super unique place and we got so close to penguins and to elephant seals, oh my god! Yeah, this peninsula is really the mecca for marine wildlife here in Patagonia. It was so worth a visit, very tiring on the dirt roads, but it was worth it. It was worth it, yes. So that's it from us today. We did at the end 160 miles, which is about 250 kilometers. And we hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Hunting for orcas, round two. We're back here at the same place we were yesterday morning to try to find orcas, and today, the rangers here have told us that there are orcas out here, but at the moment they're in the distance yes. uh, and they might be coming in. So if we're really lucky, we might get to see them. We have orcas! There's 
like a whole bunch of them and they've come all the way up to the beach here and they're just swimming up and down and frolicking around looking for some stray elephant seals I guess. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. But you have penguins as well there and yeah. there's the elephant seals too there <laughs> and the orcas there is like what's going on? It's mind blowing. Wow. Well, really best day ever. This was so worth to come back. <laughs> yes. Waking up at five o'clock, I'm in. <laughs> I do that every day for this. <laughs> Bye bye orcas! We love you!